If you live in California and do not have solar on your home, you better get solar within the next 90 days. Gavin Newsom and the California Public Utilities Commission just passed a new law that will take away much of the savings that current California homeowners who put solar on their home receive. They have canceled the old net metering 2.0 agreement and are replacing it with a net metering 3.0 agreement, which will reduce the savings by as much as 75%. Now, if you're like most, you probably have no idea what net metering actually means. What net metering is, is it describes the relationship between an electric company and a homeowner. This relationship is a two-way street. So what happens when somebody puts solar panels on their home, they produce much more energy during the day than they're actually using. This extra energy gets delivered directly through the meter to the power grid and the utility company takes this power and sells it to your neighbor. Now the power that they are taking from you, they currently pay you dollar for dollar meaning if they charge you 35 cents per kilowatt hour to buy that power, well then they buy that excess power off you for the same amount. And why this is so important is, is during the evening time, there is no sun out, and therefore your solar panels are not producing the energy that you are using during the evening hours. So during the evening, you actually buy power from the power company and they charge you a price per kilowatt hour rate. However, the reason why most people don't have any electric bill is because of all of the credits that they earn from selling the excess power during the day that covers the charges that they get charged for buying power from the power company at night. And this net metering 2.0 agreement that has governed the state of California for almost two decades has made it extremely beneficial since the utility companies have to pay you the same rate they're charging you when they buy that power from you. However, after much fuss by Southern California Edison and PG&E and San Diego Gas and Electric and the massive amount of money that gets paid to the state of California by these lobbyists, they convinced Gavin Newsom and the California Public Utilities Commission to completely do away with the old net metering agreements. Now, when you produce that extra power during the day and you sell it to the utility company, they're not going to give you the same money that you have to pay them to buy that power. No, they're going to give you wholesale rates for it. They're only going to pay you about eight cents per kilowatt versus the 35 to 40 cents that they're currently paying you now. So what happens is all that excess power that you're going to be delivering to the power company during the day to get those credits to offset your bill, you're now going to see a reduction by about 75% of the money they give you. Therefore, at the end of the year, what's gonna happen is the money that you're gonna owe the power company from all the power you used at night is gonna be more than what the credits you have to offset that power because of the reduced rate they're paying you. Now, don't worry, it's not the complete end of the world because what's gonna happen for people that don't make the move to get solar before April of this year, they will be able to still get solar, but what they'll have to add is a battery. They're gonna have to add a battery to their home, which typically costs about nine to $12,000. And what will happen is all that excess power that's being generated during the day from your solar panels, while they're being sold to the grid at this reduced rate, will simply be stored in the batteries. And then at night, you'll be drawing power from those batteries to power your house so that you don't have to buy power from the utility company. However, let's use an example and say we have a homeowner, which the average homeowner in Southern California has an electric bill on average of about $400 a month. And right now, if they put solar on their home, utilizing a big 30% federal tax credit that just went way up in August this year, they can put solar on their home with no money out of pocket and have a solar payment traditionally around $150 a month. So they're cutting their electric bill by more than half. Well now, if they have to buy a battery, that payment may be 250 bucks a month. 
So they're still gonna save dropping from 400 to 250, but they're not gonna be dropping from 400 to 150. So it's so important that people who are looking to be in their homes in California for longer than a year actually go and get solar on their home. And even if solar didn't make sense a year ago, it very likely does now. Because hidden in the Inflation Reduction Act, Biden put two solar initiatives, one that increased the federal tax credit to 30%, meaning if you go out and you buy a system and let's say it's $40,000, you don't pay $40,000 for that. No, you get 30% federal tax credit that you can actually apply it at the time of purchase. So now that $40,000 system only costs you $28,000. And if you're financing 100% of it, well now you're financing 30% less because of that federal tax credit. And for many people who aren't gonna be in their home for 10 years or more, that they don't wanna go out and sign a loan for 20, 30, $40,000. There's another initiative that was hidden in the Inflation Reduction Act where now solar utility companies, for example, Sunrun being the largest, they now receive up to a 70% federal tax credit to go ahead and put a solar system on your home, which you don't own, you don't maintain, you pay nothing for, and because of the substantially reduced cost of putting that system on your house due to this massive federal tax credit increase, they then will sell you power at a substantially reduced rate. So you're really just changing your utility company. No longer having to pay Edison, you just pay Sunrun for an example. You buy nothing, you finance nothing, and instead of paying 30 to 40 cents per kilowatt hour, now you're only paying 15 or 20 cents per kilowatt hour, and you're able to cut your bill in half. So if solar didn't make sense a year ago with these new initiatives that were put into the Inflation Reduction Act that was just passed, the solar savings is massive but we're up against a tight window because they only gave 120 days to get your application approved and in to be grandfathered in to the old net metering agreements, which means you really have to get that system installed by the end of the first quarter, which is completely doable, but you gotta act now and there's never been another time. When I was building my house, I spent about a year looking at all the different types of solar energy and green energy, and there was just no consistent information out there. And so as somebody that's a 20-year real estate veteran and mortgage and finance professional, I went ahead and with my partner, Tarek El Moussa, we formed a solar coalition to really bring awareness specifically to California homeowners so they were being made aware of all these state and federal programs that the media just doesn't cover. And so if you are looking into potentially becoming energy independent and wanna stop paying these massive electric bills, which keep going up 10 to 15% per year, and there's nothing you can do about it because these utility companies have a monopoly, well, now is the time. All you need to do is that you can send me a DM and in that DM, just include a copy of your most recent electric bill. We can take that and we can run it through all the federal and state utility savings programs and give you a good overview of what you would potentially qualify for. Or you can simply visit mysolarvision.com and answer about six or seven questions and we'll put together a good overall proposal so you could truly see why there's more people than ever adding solar and becoming energy independent here in California.